Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lesson Bank. I'm Pete. In this video, we're going to add a little bit more rudiment to your solo. Okay, so you understand the importance of the melody. You know the form of the song and you are able to emotionally connect to the lyrics. And you've practiced the rudiments from the last video, right? So now you want to sort of dive into more rudiments, build your lick vocabulary or your rudimental vocabulary. And now you want to apply some newer rudiments. So let's talk about a few. Here are my three favorites. The three rudiments that I want to talk about in this video are very exciting, can be played really fast, and also are very interesting rhythmically. Um, they lend well to uh, playing around with the melody, and so you can still keep the importance of the melody there, uh, but still sound really cool. Um, the first one is the paradiddle diddle. Uh, in the last video, we talked about the paradiddle, and this one, we're talking about the paradiddle diddle. And where the paradiddle sounded like paradiddle, right, left, right, right, this one still sounds like what it says as do pretty much all rudiments for the drums, right? So, para diddle diddle, right, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, so this is how you can use it on the drum set. Next one is my favorite and is really can give this sort of like tasteful sound to your drum set and that's the flam. It's a really basic rudiment and often taught at a beginner level but the way in which you apply it to a solo or to the melody can be kind of a little bit more intermediate side. All right so a flam is just when you put your left or your right, right before the intentional note. So you go left, right. Then it's like flam, right? Flam. So uh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> but I'm going to show you how you can use it in your solo. Check it out. Okay, so the next one is the Radama Q, and that already sounds like a hip lick, right? Uh, Radama Q, Radama Q. Uh, this is what it looks like, and I'm going to show you how you can use it in your drum solos. Check it out. Okay, so there are your three uh, intermediate to advanced rudiments that you can apply to the melody uh, in your drum solos. Remember, you're trying to elaborate or play around with a melody. You're not trying to show off your favorite lick or your favorite rudiment. Always come back to the melody and the form and the lyrics. With those in mind, you will be able to build solos that are interesting and engaging and will make you feel good right so am i going to make an advanced rudiment video maybe but what i would say to you is rudiments or licks or solos for the advanced player are often sort of what makes you advance i guess is how you interpret all of these rudiments and how you interpret the melody. 
Um, it's not necessarily rudiment based. It's not necessarily lick based, but rather it focuses more on how you are able to express your emotions and your story for the song by playing around with the melody. So it's time for practicing again. And I really hope you enjoy these rudiments and you keep on learning all the melodies that you can. Thank you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.